pieces of art. Put on display at the Palace Theater, celebrating Black History Month with a theme around health. We know that that is uh, somewhat of an epidemic in the African American community, the you know, increasing rate of diabetes, hypertension, etc. So we thought it was important to impress upon the students at an early age. Students from elementary school through high school in Stanford submitted works of art for the 8th Annual Student Cultural Arts and Literacy Program. Their work was chosen based on artistic ability, content and creativity. What I wanted to show was everyone having a good time swimming in a lake. I like to go swimming a lot in the summer and I thought if everyone, well, it would be nice if I drew a picture of people swimming. For this one I picked one of um, the football players on the Stanford I team and I had him, I integrated sports and like healthy eating but I added humor since he's really, really strong, I was like, oh, why don't I just put apples on a stick and have him lift it and pretend it's really heavy and stuff. So we had a little bit of fun with that. If you look at the detail on some of the artwork, you'll see that they put a lot of effort into it. So um, encompassing the themes, being very creative about it, and also making sure that it tied to health. The fine art consultant company Picture That teamed up with the Stanford Public School System for this project, as well as the Fairfield chapter of the Lynx Incorporated. We also invite local community centers and it's a phenomenal and wonderful event to celebrate black history. Each year the organizations choose a different theme, like promoting healthy living, to challenge the students. So in the past we've had Elaine Locke, we've had Paul Roberson, um, the Obamas, um, black lawyers, physicians, and to accompany the artwork they um, are asked to write a literary passage so that they can explain who the person is and it really kind of forces them to do a deep dive and learn about what's happening. 